Hello and welcome to iPhone Coding Channel and uh, today we're going to get back to our introduction to programming in C and where we left off last tutorial was defining variables and I left a challenge for you guys if any of you attempted to do it so um, here are the results before we get to the actual tutorial. Um, if you haven't if you don't have it open, please open your variable.c file that we were working with in the previous tutorial and uh, open up the terminal and make sure that you've changed directory and you are on your desktop where you have stored the variable.c file. Um, and let's get right to it. So, okay, so here, um, ignore all of the green text but I'm gonna read it out for you because it's some comments that I've included so it can help you with your uh, programming in case you did anything wrong um, you could have done this multiple ways and uh, I will show you that in this tutorial um, but for now let's just go through the way that we have it here so here's the basic include statement that includes our standard input output library the STDIO and the IO stands for input and output and here's the main function and right now it doesn't return anything it's just a blank main function and soon we will uh, make it return something but for now um, what we needed to do to make our program work was we needed to declare some variables and we needed to make sure that they were of the type integer so here we declared three three variables uh, remember I gave you a hint in the last tutorial telling you that you were going to need three variables so I called them num1, num2 and result you could have called them anything and uh, I made sure that they were declared ints. Now, um, you could have done this a different way. You could have done this just as an example quickly to um, go like this. You could have done this, num1 uh, int num2 int num3. Now this is just an example, but this is also a, very va uh, also a valid declaration. But I just shortened it up by doing it on the same line. And here you wanted to, the next step, sorry, was to assign the integer uh, value to the variables that we declared. Now we declared them locally because they're inside our main function and we haven't declared any out here with a define statement or a constant statement um, because we don't really have any other function. So there's no point in really declaring a global variable right now. So we'll get to those also in other tutorials. So the next step was to add the two integer valued variables and store the result in the place that we set aside for them. And that was result uh, was the variable that we set aside for the answer of num1 plus num2. And here we are assigning 5 to num1 and we are assigning 5 to num2. And remember that the assignment operator in C, in, uh, C um, makes assignments from right to left. So anything on the right side of the assignment operator is going to be assigned to what's on the left side of the operator. Um, next we're going to add the two integer variables. Here we go. So we're going to say result equals num1 plus num2 uh, because whatever gets computed on the right side of the assignment operator is going to get stored into what's on the left side of the assignment operator. So if we were going to store uh, if we were going to do this the opposite way, num1 plus num2 uh, equals equals result, then we probably get an error. So let's try this program out and see how it goes. And we're going to collect the variable. Let's see. And now let's see the output. The sum of the two numbers is 10. Okay, so it actually worked correctly. Um, I, I'm surprised actually I didn't think it would actually work correctly um, so it doesn't make a difference actually then but um, if I were you just my hint to you because it's what I see most commonly in other programmers code is that assignments do get made this way and that is result equals num1 plus num2 it could just be a coding convention I'm gonna find that out for you and I'll tell you in the next tutorial um, mm. So here we're going to display the result of our calculation using the printf function which is going to basically display our integer to the screen and we're going to display that integer by using the format specifier percent %d 
and you can look up format specifier lists like if you want to declare or sorry display different things to the screen like perhaps a character as opposed to an integer uh, which is percent %c but you can look up these spe uh, lists on Google by typing in format specification list for c um, so here we're just outputting a simple line of text within quotations saying the sum of the two numbers is and printing out the integer with a new line using the backslash n and you got to make sure that you're including the variable that you want to print out to the screen otherwise the computer is not going to know what to print out so for now um, just save it and we will clear the screen and we will make sure that this runs the other way and Oh, sorry, error. And it's correct. And as you can see, the sum of the two numbers is 10. So um, for the next tutorial, uh, what I'm going to get into is basically um, printing out characters. Um, and I'm going to get into functions. Uh, functions, I'm gonna once I'm in functions I'm gonna be able to start getting into global variables and uh, constants uh, which is basically a continuation of the defining variables tutorials so if anything is getting a little confusing don't worry about it just send me a comment and I'll explain whatever you need to you um, but for now um, try to do this program I'll give you a challenge okay right now we have this program and it gives us one result try to do try to create two calculations one with addition or try to create four calculations let's make it very difficult if you would like to dabble in this field make four calculations one for addition one for uh, subtraction one for multiplication and one for division and display all of their results and in the next uh, tutorial we'll be getting into uh, printing characters and strings and um, functions and how functions are work in programs and what they do so I'll see you then and uh, good luck and happy coding